Hello guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to use the mythical cape method for construction training. First I'll go over the requirements and explain why I might want to use this method, then I'll go over how to do the method. To use this method you need to have completed Dragon Slayer 2, have level 47 construction, have a quest hall built in your house, and have a demon butler. This method is a great way to train construction as you gain more experience for each plank than normal. Usually you'd gain 90 XP per teak plank, but when making mythical cape ranks you get 123.3 XP per plank. This means you'll have to use less planks and will save a lot of money. This is especially good for ironmen because you won't need to spend as long making planks. With normal teak planks, the GP per XP is about 5.5, whereas with mythical cape racks, it's about 4, so you will be saving a fair bit of money, although this is not factoring in the cost of using the demon butler to make the planks if you're an iron man. Because you'll need to make less planks with the mythical cape method, you'll actually save even more money with the demon butler because you won't need to do as many trips. You can expect about 300k XP per hour doing mythical capes if you're focusing, if not, I'd expect about 270k. Okay, so what you're going to want to bring with you when doing this method is a hammer, a saw, a mythical cape obviously. I bring noted teak planks just so I can see how many I have, but you don't actually need to bring them as long as they're in your bank, you can get your servant to fetch them for you. I would recommend having a servant's money bag in your house and filling it up before you start doing this method, otherwise you'll need to bring a cash stack with you. You're going to want 24 free slots in your inventory because for each mythical cape rack you'll need 3 planks, so 24 means you can make 8 per inventory. I've got a lore in here, but I'll be using this, so then I'll have 24 slots free. If you're using Runelite, I'd recommend you go to the plugin hub and get the zoom extender plugin. That will just mean you can zoom in a bit further and it'll help make the box nice and big for you to click on. If you zoom in far enough, you'll get to a point where you can right click and you'll just be able to build without moving your mouse at all. I would suggest having the screen markers plugin enabled and then you can go here, press the plus symbol to add a marker, uh, draw around the spot where you should be able to just uh, right click and not have to move your mouse, accept that with the tick. Now I should be able to right click in here and there we go, I can just uh, build without moving my mouse at all. You'll just have to make sure not to click on the little chat bubbles because that'll bring up all these options which you don't want, just make sure to click in the little box you've drawn and there you go. So to start doing the method you just want to call your butler, just go to the settings tab and go to the controls, go to the house options, call servant and I've already set it up, you can just use your planks on him if you want or you can just um, click something else, go to the bank, bring something from the bank and I will ask for a teak planks and you want 24. So that won't take long and I can start building. Okay here's the butler with my stuff so what you want to do uh, right click, build, press 4, right click once it's built, um, you can remove it and then press 1 to remove it, build, and just keep doing this until your inventory is almost empty. The sweet spot I found for calling the butler is when you've made the second to last one here, you've still got it up, you go and call the butler again, fetch some planks, you remove this one, build another one, Remove this one, and now you shouldn't have to worry about him coming back too early. And um, here he is, and you can just keep going. The reason you don't want to call the butler too early is because if you've got a full inventory of planks and there's still extra ones, um, you can actually drop planks while you're in the house. So what the what will happen is it'll just be awkward. You'll want to take them back to the bank, and you won't even be able to remove the uh, the cape rack here because your inventory is full can't drop them so you'd have to leave and uh, it, you'd have to bank planks and it'll just be annoying so uh, watch out for that. Just another random little tip, after you've called the servant and before he gets back, after you've built the last cape, what you want to do is hold right click ready on the build space and that way you can just go straight back into it otherwise you'll have to go through his dialogue. Okay well I think that's all I need to cover in this guide, let me know if it helped you. And let me know if you want any other guides, I'm considering doing one on different methods of making planks and maybe one on how to do the teak benches method. So with that said, uh, thanks for watching guys, see you in the next one.